Hey everyone, Roger here from Ascar Experts YouTube channel. I'm finally getting to my M54 with exhaust gases coming out of the cooling system. What I wanted to talk about today is what is a head gasket, what are the signs of a blown head gasket, and what can you do to prevent a head gasket failure. So what is a head gasket and what does it do? The top end is your cylinder head and then it sandwiches to the block which has your pistons and you need a special gasket that is made out of a multi-layer steel in many cases and that closes off and seals the combustion gases and the coolant parts between the head and the block. So what does it mean to blow a head gasket? It simply means that there's a compromised section in the gasket or it might be a compromised section in the cylinder head or a combination of both. In the case of my M54, this is most likely an issue between both either the head, the block, the gasket, or the head bolts have separated and the threads are lifting, which relieves the tension of the head to the block and it allows the gases to get into the cooling system. One sign of a failing head gasket might be billows of white smoke coming out of the tailpipe. That's because the system is burning coolant and you're gonna see it billowing out of the tailpipe. Now it's not uncommon to see some moisture coming out of a tailpipe and that usually will clean up after a certain amount of time. Associated with seeing white smoke coming out of your tailpipe is your coolant level is usually going to be low. So having to constantly check and top off your coolant and you can't find a leak even though it's been pressure tested is usually a sign of something going on with the head because you're going to be using coolant and it's going to be burning it through the combustion system and it'll be burning it right through the exhaust system. Now I want to say it's relatively rare for a head gasket to just fail, especially on a BMW. Usually there's a reason why they fail. Like in this case here, this upper radiator hose failed and then the vehicle overheated because it lost its coolant, which then caused the block, which is aluminum, to break down. And then the tension is alleviated between that head gasket and basically it then inputs all of the exhaust gases into the cooling system because it's no longer sealed properly. Now I have seen when these M54 engines have been overheated even slightly, what happens is it burps air into the cooling system and then these hoses get super hard. And what happens is once that air gets into the cooling system from the combustion process, it makes the water pump no longer function properly because it's being air bound or it's getting air bound up in the thermostat area. And then you end up with an engine overheat and then it just makes it worse. And that actually leads towards the vehicle overheating and then your temp gauge will just peg to the red. And then a lot of times when you burp the system, like I would just crack it open and vent it, there'd be a lot of gases that would come out and then the vehicle would be good for, sometimes I've seen them last a month and then it'll end up locking up the cooling system again and then you'd have to vent it again and that would be a very small leak that over time is introducing those exhaust gases into the cooling system and locking up the system. One more quick thing, if you have many different failures in your cooling system, like I replace, let's just say I replace the radiator and I blow out another radiator and the seam separates or another hose blows on the top or my expansion tank blows again a second time. That also is usually a sign of a head gasket issue and it's over pressurizing the cooling system and it's causing repeated failures of that cooling system. So that's something else to watch for. Now another telltale sign is when you have, and I don't have it in this particular car, when you have like a mud in your cooling system and that is coolant and oil mixing and with the temperature the paraffin and the oil separates and you get this muddy sludge that you would find in your cooling system. Sometimes that works both ways where the system here in the cooling system will have the mud or in some cases the, the engine oil will get the mud and the sludge and you'll actually find that on your oil filler cap. Like this one's nice and clean now don't differentiate when you get the paraffin from short distance driving. I have a video on that and I'll put the link up here in the corner for that if you want to take a look at that. That's a completely different issue and it is not a blown head gasket and a lot of people mistaken that issue 
for a failure in the head gasket. It is not. But if you open this up and you look inside, and I've had other cars that have had failed head gaskets, and you peek in here, and it is just full of mud, and then you drain the oil, and it is full of mud and sludge, you know that you have a head gasket problem. All right, so we're gonna get to this, test, this tester really quick in just a minute. I have had one other M54, just like this engine right here, that had a crack in the cylinder head, and that also led to that sludgy goo that you get inside of the engine. The best thing to do if you are taking the head off is to have it tested, and there's a special procedure a machine shop can do to check and make sure there are no cracks in the cylinder head. Onto this head gasket tester, which is actually looking for just carbon dioxide. That's really all this does. So I have two things of fluid here. This yellow fluid, when your fluid like this turns yellow, this used to be blue, this is bad. I need to throw that away. I picked up some new test fluid right here just for this video. And this is a tester that I've had for many, many years. This is probably 15 years old. And all you're going to do is fill the fluid up into the two bottom chambers up until this line. And then we're going to squeeze and take a, a sample of the air. And when it changes color, it's going to indicate that there's CO2 from the exhaust gases, and that's going to prove that you have a head gasket problem. Now what you do is you run your car for a bit, you let it cool down, and you're going to come over to your cooling system. Just make sure that the system is not too hot because if this is under pressure, a lot of coolant can explode. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses and you use all the precautions. But you would basically just put this in here and you want to just catch the air gap. You don't want to suck up coolant, you just want to get the air gap. And that air gap is going to have the carbon dioxide trapped. So as soon as you take your cap off, start sucking that air out and see if this changes color. And that would prove if you have a head gasket issue or not, if it's bad enough. All right, so to use this, I'm just going to pop that one off. I'm going to pop that one off. And then this top one stays empty. Take my test fluid. And there's a little mark right there, so I just have to fill it up about to that area. Same thing on this one. Fill about to that area, and don't reuse this fluid because you'll just contaminate your good fluid. Rebuild this. And you can test this just actually by breathing into it too. And this is how it does it, it just bubbles up. So if you want to test your fluid, you can see right there it turned yellow on the bottom. That's because it detected the carbon dioxide in my breath. Now if I keep going, fluid should turn blue again as it gets reoxygenated. Now we're back to blue. I'm gonna do my test right here because I don't have coolant in the system. There's proof, and we knew that I had a bad head, bad head gasket, but that is a test that you can do on your vehicle, just you would do that at your expansion tank. Now that's a test that you would do here at your expansion tank, unless you had a major failure like this vehicle has, and you would do that same test here, and you would just do the siphoning, and if you get the color change from blue to yellow, it would indicate that you have a head gasket problem. Hopefully not. How do you prevent a head gasket failure? There's a couple of things you can watch out for and the number one way to prevent a head gasket failure is if your vehicle is ever overheating, stop immediately, pull over, shut the car off and have it towed to your repair shop or home if you're gonna do it yourself, repair the cooling system and then carefully bleed and recheck everything. 
The number one cause of a head gasket failure is an engine overheat. The next thing to do is make sure that your coolant level is always topped off, keep up with your basic maintenance, and even I always recommend on a BMW, because they can go 10,000 miles between oil changes to split that in half and do one at 5,000 and another one at the next 5,000. That's when you do your reset. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial and this cool tool. I'll put a link in the description box in case you want to purchase one of these off of Amazon in case you want to check your vehicle. Some things to come on this particular car, I'm going to be doing a compression and cylinder leakage test soon to try to determine the area of the failure. And I'm gonna do that with you guys and we'll be able to see what the results are for the compression and cylinder leakage tests. And I'll explain what those tests are and what is the full purpose. Both compression and cylinder leakage testing are very important diagnostic tools and steps that you can do at home to check the health of your engine, you can check your piston rings, you can check your top end, you can see if your valves are sealing and try to help identify specific problems that you might have just using those tests. Cost of those specialty tools are not too expensive anymore. Thanks for joining me everyone. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more BMW and automotive repair videos.